Hello, I'm Nathaniel. We are um, at school, and this is our science proposal project. It's the effect of light frequency. So the uh, experiments in the this is going to be tested by using a microwave using UVA and a uh, IRA. The hypothesis is if the light frequency is higher, then there will be a higher amount of thermal energy because when the wavelength is shorter, the frequency increases and so does the amount of energy. The background knowledge is light on light frequencies when the wavelength is short, the frequency is higher. This goes for any type of energy, including light energy. When the wavelength decreases, the energy level increases. The one on top has more energy and a higher frequency because the wavelength is shorter. If we use a light with a higher frequency, then we use a um, How does the light frequency affect the amount of thermal energy? The um, there are several results. In third, 10 minutes with the UV light goes to softest. Softest, the IR light for 10 minutes was the hottest. The same with the wet, uh, and the white light was coldest but least melted. The same thing with 20 minutes. In 30 minutes for um, 30 minutes for UV light was melted the most. Um, 30 for IR was almost melted the hot and it was the hottest. The white light was cold and slightly melted. The um, conclusion is, in conclusion, the UV light and the IR light and the white light gave off a different amount, amount of the energy which we would see was determined by the frequency of each light. But that was important to know because in the world, there are many jobs that are important to human development. Some of these jobs might be key for the job, and they were just to a certain amount. The analysis is from our data, we could see that the higher the frequency the light was, the more the marshmallows melted. The more the melted, the more melted marshmallows, the marshmallows that showed us the higher, showed us the amount of energy that the light gave off. The higher frequency was, the more energy was given off. The variables, um, the independent variable was the light frequency, so we're changing what we were testing for. The dependent variable was the thermal energy, so we were changing. The constant variable was the flow, which is the conductor, which didn't change. The experimental group one was the UV light, and the marshmallow experimental group two was the IR light, and the marshmallow experimental group three was the white light, and the marshmallow. And the procedure was to gather up and set up the marshmallows on the foil under the uh, UV, IR, and white light. Set a 10 minute timer and turn off and turn the heat flames on. When the timer is done, compare the marshmallows' physical characteristics. Repeat steps 2 to 3 with 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and 30 minutes.